Hi guys, trying to tidy up my workroom a bit. Found I've got three old laptops. Put the power on this one, it uh, seems to be working. It's Windows XP and it's incredibly slow. I do vaguely remember buying this one for my daughter years ago. In fact, one of the files on there says AVG PC tune-up. 2015 and it's currently running advanced system care 8.4 can't remember how old that is but I would guess we're talking pretty old uh, this tablet I don't know if we can see that no I can't see it you might vaguely be able to see the screen on it <laughs> It's um, cracked right across here, and it's all, well, it's just lines. That's hopeless, but it is taking charge. This tablet, I think you can probably see, is cracked. And that one was taking charge as well. I don't know if I can get to switch on. I did get a screen on it just now. I think that'll be pretty useless as well. Oh, there we are. Bush. Powered by Android. Hmm, okay, well, we'll leave that and see if that powers up. The other two laptops, that one's a Toshiba. Uh, what's that one? Advent. So, uh... I think I did do some work on this one quite a long time ago. I think I tried running it on, um, was it Ubuntu? Ubuntu? Linux. Um, can't remember what the re result was with that, although I'm pretty sure it doesn't hold charge in the battery. I'm not sure about that one either. I really ought to get rid of them. The only thing I'm worried about, certainly this one, has got all the personal data from my daughter on it. So I'm going to have to, at the, at the very least, do some sort of disk clean, if not just take the disk out of it. Because uh, otherwise it's all somebody's personal information. Anyway, that'll keep me occupied for a few minutes, having a look at these. I don't think there's anything I can do with these tablets. So with the cracked screens on them, they're not going to be any good to anybody. Yeah, it fires up, but then it doesn't do anything. Although we can actually see on that screen... Oh, whereas this one we can't see anything because the screen is so damaged. Yeah, that's something to have a look at. I'm not going to do a video on them at the moment. I might try and do something with that one because I, I do like it. It's an old, old HP Compaq NC6220. And the reason I bought it for my daughter years ago was it was the laptops we were using at work. And at the time, they were fast compared to what we'd had. Now it's incredibly slow. But back then, they did actually seem pretty good. I don't think we're even talking 2000 here. I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, it could have been 2008-ish. I was using them. No, it wasn't. We'd been upgraded by then. Anyway, they're old. But it might be fun to see if I can get that one to run on Linux instead.
just so we can see that screen. I've got just enough power in there to get the screen up. And that's it, it's going. So yeah, I don't think we're going to do much with that one either. So that one's a Telefunken. That's the other uh, tablet. Mm. Yeah. I think all I can do with both of them is just try and clear their memories, do factory resets before we get rid of them. I really hadn't intended to spend any time on this little tablet. I've just taken the back cover off. And I can see the batteries look in perfect condition. Not like that one I was looking at the other day from my granddaughter where it was all puffy. So the batteries look okay. Two thousand five hundred milliamp hour. A pair of them. Hmm. And as I say, they are taking charge. But I can't get past the um, sign on screen, which was the on button that one there, I think. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, we got the sign on, but when I try and press that there, the key lock. It doesn't recognize it so I think because the screen is cracked I think we actually can't get in there and do anything that's frustrating well to be honest I'm not quite sure what I did but I've got in I don't think it was actually locked even though it was showing a a lock on it. I just seem to get round it. So we're in. Can't really see anything in here because it's just not light enough. Just see if there's a game I can start somewhere, just so we can see something moving on the screen. Ballistic squid. Well, that's not rude. Latest videos. Facebook. No, I'm not interested in that, whatever that is. How do we get out? Down there. Ah, it looks like this side of the screen might not work. <laughs> looks like we're okay over here. Yeah, but over here, nothing. Yeah, so it looks like only half the screen is working. Okay. My plan with this old compact is to try and copy everything off it onto that external drive. Because it's only a 60 gigabyte hard drive in there anyway. And that one's a 500 gigabyte drive. So I should be able to copy stuff across. The alternative is I take the hard drive out. Um, I thought that I'd got a disk copier, but I just had a look at it and I can't find the right connector for it. So we're having to do this via USB. 
which is going to take forever. I can probably leave this here overnight at this rate, if it will work. Then, once I've copied everything off it, because I think it's my daughter's files, she probably doesn't care, they're probably 10 years old, 5 years old, but uh, I'd better save them just in case. And then I can see what I can do with that, see if I can make use of it at all. Clean it off. And, uh, yeah, maybe even run it on Linux. Maybe. My computer desk is getting in a bit of a mess, trying to do too many things at once. That's the disk copier that I've got. As I say, I don't seem to have the right thing to do... Uh, No, don't seem to have the right connector on there to do a small drive out of a laptop. Or at least the one when I took the one out of the compact, it didn't look like it would fit into any of them. Anyway, the other thing I'm doing, well, as you can probably tell, I'm, look, I'm looking at all these things, see what I can do with any of them. So, this um, tablet which I've established half half the screen doesn't work for touch um, access but I did find and switch it on again with a bit of luck come on you coming on don't want to switch on now Clipping. Um, I think I worked out, well, we know where it's cracked, but that's why I could get the back off so easy, because all the clips along that side are broken, which is probably why I can't press the on button, because it's not lining up. Oh, there we are. We are on. Um, so you can see, yes, I've got access to it, but if I want to touch anything on this side... nothing happens but <laughs> if we rotate the screen yeah so it's not really a workable way of doing it but uh, yeah rotate the screen and I can get to a bit that works Doesn't look like we can operate him anyway. Right, so if I try and press the home button down there, nothing works. Turn it around this way, and we're home. I can't think of a good use for this at the moment. Although, possibly, I could use it with the Wi Fi microscope. Possibly, maybe. That would give me a nice big screen and I don't need to touch. Do I need to touch it when I'm watching it? Can't remember. But that would mean I've got to load an app onto it to do that. And that's going to be fun. Nice looking screen, apart from the fact that it's broke. What did I just press there? No idea. Hello, Mathletics. Did you see that? That's something to do with college. I thought this was my daughter's, but it's my granddaughter's again. Oh, you might have seen her secret um, sign on there. Might have to blur out that. Right. So how did I touch that? No idea. I must have accidentally touched something on there. Hmm. So there we go. Minecraft. Oh, I could play Minecraft. 
Yeah. Okay, so we got a bit further with that one. This one I don't think we're any further forwards with. Yeah, not going to do much with that. Plug you. Well, I could try plug in the uh, USB lead into the computer, see if we can read it at all. That's a thought. Doing a factory reset on this one now. So hopefully that's wiped it, so it's safe to get rid of it. Right, let's reset it then, so we're back to the beginning. <laughs> the same problem, we've got to keep rotating the screen. <laughs> so we can use the uh, bits of the screen that work. Anyway, that'll do. Don't need to go any further. Let's reset it. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.